Supraventricular tachycardia is a fast heart rhythm that comes from the upper chambers of the heart. There's the upper chambers, the atria, and the lower chambers, the ventricles. So we call anything above the ventricles supraventricular. And tachycardia just means fast heart rate. So supraventricular tachycardia is when the electrical system of the heart gets out of whack. And the upper chamber, which normally drives the heart rate at something normal, all of a sudden is going too fast, inappropriately fast for whatever you're doing. So if you're sitting there watching TV or talking to somebody and your pulse all of a sudden starts to race and you can't think of any reason, it wasn't coffee, it wasn't stress, it wasn't anything else, you thought you were minding your own business and all of a sudden your heart's pounding, that's a sign that something is abnormal. Supraventricular tachycardia can affect people at all ages. The pediatricians see it in little babies who've just been born, and we see it in patients who are 95. If a tachycardia shows up in a young person, most often they haven't had time to come up with another disease, so it's usually due to something they were born with, a short circuit, some extra cells in the heart that just fire off when not asked. But as people get older and they acquire other diseases, have had heart surgery, valve surgery, bypass, whatever, then their heart ages like everything else, and as the heart ages, it scars, and they can get these arrhythmias, and they may be for very different reasons than why a young person would get them. The important thing to know about supraventricular tachycardia is that it's not just one disease. It's a term we use to describe a bunch of different kinds of arrhythmias. Most of them are not dangerous. There are a wide range of treatments from nothing to invasive. The key is for a patient to decide, how much does this thing bother me? Is this one of the ones that's dangerous or not? And what am I comfortable doing to get rid of it? Radiofrequency ablation is a technique for treating arrhythmias. The ablation procedure is generally an outpatient day surgery. You're brought into our electrophysiology laboratory and given some sedation, and we use a needle to get into the femoral veins, generally on both sides, sometimes into the femoral artery. The needle gets us into the vessel. A tube is put into the vein. Then our catheters, which is a generic term we use to describe anything we stick in the heart that may serve multiple purposes, those are placed in the chambers of the heart. Then we steer the ablation catheter to the spot that we need to go to, and radiofrequency energy is delivered at that location to cauterize that little tiny area of tissue. When you're trying to decide where to get one of these treatments done or where to see a doctor, it's important to find a doctor you can communicate with and who can explain the procedure to you. At Swedish, we have cardiac electrophysiologists who do these procedures on a routine basis with good success rates. We have had a lot of experience with varying techniques, varying kinds of patients. And we've got the full spectrum of technology from the simplest to the most complex, depending on what you need.